today is Wednesday, August 27th, 2014, and I definitely know the day because it is HSG test day. Drum roll for that. I am super happy that it's at 1 p.m. in the afternoon because it's it kind of gives me the morning to just take it in <laughs> and breathe and not be like as anxious and oh my goodness what's gonna happen kind of thing because I feel like if it would have been in the morning like first thing in the morning at 9 a.m. I would have totally been freaking out but I have good enough time to not freak out and I think I've told you guys that I've convinced myself that this is gonna be like completely painless I'm not gonna have any issues so that's the mindset so I'm actually doing pretty good today I heard from magic number three she said that it went pretty well it wasn't that horrible a little bit uncomfortable she said to just breathe through the little bit of cramps that you're gonna feel so I'm gonna practice my breathing skills <laughs> but other than that I feel like I'm pretty ready I'm gonna vlog today so you'll be able to see me go and all the rest of the other stuff but in terms of like everything like how they did it from start to finish that type of video I'm just gonna post tomorrow and you know give a full detail on my HSG experience but anyway it is about I want to say 9 30 or something like that I'm gonna leave here at 11 30 because of those appointments at 1 they want me to be there at 12 30 so I can fill out like all the admission papers and things like that um I'm making some fertility because I told you guys I was making the fertility. I am super excited to have my tea maker back because I have forgot it at my mother-in-law's house. Yeah, and that little ball thing that I told you guys that you put the loose leaf tea in and then you drop it in there. I didn't, I didn't like it. It just was coming apart and stuff. So I'm super excited to have that. I'm going to show you how that works. Other than that, I am cycle day eight. My furry week is supposed to start tomorrow. Oh, let's talk about yesterday. And don't video. mind the little head wrap I got on here. I'm, I'm just, I'm not ready. I'm not beautified yet for the day. Uh, so, yes, yesterday the doctor called back and she said to speak to the dentist, which is the person that had prescribed him the medicine, to stop taking the medicine and see if there's something else that he could possibly take because it, it has shown signs of low sperm count or something like that. But before the doctor called back, I ended up going to the pharmacy, which is in Rite Aid, where we had got the medicine from because I was going to get the Advil for this HSG test. And I meant to tell you yesterday that it could be Motrin or Advil. But I went to get the Advil for the HSG test, so I went to the thing and asked to speak to the pharmacist. So I show the name of the medicine to the pharmacist. And I'm like, do you know of anything, you know, like with this medicine that would lower sperm count, blah, 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 blah. Do you think this man knew what he was talking about? No. No, he didn't. He looks at it and he was like... think so I, I don't think there's anything I don't know I don't think so you know but let me go get the bottle and get the paper off of it so let me show you the paper he gave me so then he went and he got this paper here and he puts it on the counter and he's looking over it and he's reading it and he's still reading it and I'm like okay I came here because I thought you were gonna know something and then he goes well you know, it looks like they tested it on rats and mice, and the rats and mice didn't have any fertility issues, so I don't think that I was done. When I tell you I was done, I was like, all right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. They tested it on the rats and mice, and no, no. So anyway, we moved on from that, but I'm just letting you know what happened with that, and thank you all for your comments. I think I responded to all of them already. And by the way, I do respond to all of my comments. Some of you will notice that if you comment on my videos all the time, that sometimes it takes me a while to respond back, like usually within two days. Uh, my goal is usually always to respond to all the comments before I post another video, but it doesn't always happen. And so you'll sign into your account and you'll have like three comments from me because of three different videos you commented on. But I do comment to every last comment that comes on these videos. So if you comment, You'll hear from me. So this is the tea maker. Uh, I don't know if you, well, you should be able to see the leaves all down in there. And with this tea maker, what it does is I put the water in there with the loose leaf tea. This is by Tivana, by the way. And I let it steep for five minutes. And after it steeps for five minutes, I put this on top of my cup right here and it drains straight out of here into the cup it's like the best invention ever for you tea lovers out there if you are a tea lover you definitely have to get the Tivana uh what is this tea maker and I don't know how much it costs because my husband bought it for me for Christmas but I'll look it up and let you know I don't think it's that expensive 
All right, so it's all nice and steeped up. And then what I do is I just sit it on top of here and you'll see that the tea is going down. Now, issue with this <laughs> is that I don't have the clear Tivana teacup, which I need to add to you know my list for this year. <laughs> uh, so I can't see, you know, and if I just leave it on there pouring in, next thing you know, it'll all like pour out. I'm just gonna put a little more. It usually makes a good cup. And I looked it up also. By the way, this is fertility in here, just in case I didn't mention that. Um, but, oh, when you sit it down, it's made so that the tea doesn't come out. There's like a little pushy thing in there. I looked it up. Uh, it's $19.95, this little thing. And it's called the Tea Havana Perfect Tea Tea Maker. And I'll post a link in the description box if it's something you're interested in having. But it's magical if you love tea the way that I do. still alive <laughs> I did not die which is good um, and I'll have to give you the details on this whole thing in my HSG experience video uh, but I will say it was not as horrible as it was made seem but it also wasn't easy either so as soon as I figure out how to really describe what that feeling is, I'm gonna let you guys know. Between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna figure it out because there, it, it reminded me of something. I don't know what, I gotta figure it out. All right, ladies, it's extra bright, so hopefully you can actually see me at my favorite place after going to things in the RE office area. And um, I survived. Thank the Lord that I survived. It was pretty good, I suppose. We'll have to have a good discussion about that tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to let you ladies know that my fallopian tubes are fine. He said that one of them, when I was looking at the pictures, looks a little dilated, so it looks a little swollen a bit. Um, but the dye went through, so he said there shouldn't be any problem and it'll probably just go back down. It could be because I just recently, you know, had my period. So hopefully that is good. You know, I'll talk more about it when I go to my Ari's office. Too bad I don't have sunglasses because... It is really bright out here, but I'm feeling good. I went to McDonald's, got me some cookies, those chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Had them heated up, I'm gonna drink water with it, which is totally crazy, because why would you go to McDonald's and get chocolate chip cookies and then decide you wanna drink water <laughs> drink water with it? I should've just went with the gusto, got some milk, or got some soda, or something, so. I don't know, but overall, today was a success. I'm happy that I got it done and over with. I'm not gonna say that it was horrible, but I'm also not gonna say that it's something that I'd like to do again anytime soon at all. All right, ladies, I hope you are having a fabulous day and to hear all about my HSG experience, be sure to watch my video tomorrow. I tried to get some pictures and a little bit of, you know, video, but they kept coming in between the doctor and the nurse and the x-ray technician. I got a little something something though, so that should be good. All right, thank you guys so, 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 so much for your support. Everybody. Everyone that commented on uh, my post last night on Instagram asking for people's HSG experiences. Thank you to all the ladies that commented on Instagram, all the ladies that commented on Facebook, to Magic Number 3 that kind of told me about it since she did it the day before. 
just thank you thank you thank you very much i really 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 appreciate it all right ladies i'll talk to you tomorrow so i was just about to end this video and i realized that there was something i forgot to tell you and it i should just put it in this instead of putting it in my hsg experience video because that really we'll just say the nurse managed to get on my last nerve and it was good that she managed to do this on my way out versus on my way in because then I really would have been annoyed but as I was leaving she comes in and she's like oh so everything's okay your tubes are nice that's good she's like don't worry about it you know you're totally young you're only gonna be 28 you know what you need to do you know you just need to just have a little patience and relax when you're in the boom boom room you know just relax like why rush and have kids you know be patient it took me like seven years and then after I got pregnant then I decided I was gonna get married you know you just gotta be patient and relax First of all, I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't say, hey lady, what's going on? What do you think? Do you think I should relax? Do you think I'm a little too young for this? You, I didn't ask you that. Your job as a professional is to get the job done and, and, and move on, but don't impart on my life your opinion on what you think and all the rest of this other stuff. Like, no, no, no. I don't care that you think that 27 going on 28 is young. I don't. I don't care and it's like I also don't need you to tell me to relax in the boom boom room ma'am ma'am you don't know what's going on in my boom boom room and I don't need you to tell me to relax because you don't know what's happening in my life and what I'm going through and all the rest of the stuff I need people like that to just be quiet and then she's like you know I tell I tell all my patients that when they come in here for this thing you know just 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 be patient and wait why why the babies I'm like what why would you tell somebody that like what what why do you feel like you should tell somebody that? That ain't cool. That's not right. You know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. And maybe I'm just a little too oversensitive and I just got let the nerves get on my nerves. Um, but I don't like when people do that. I don't. You can comment below. Comment below and tell me if you feel like the nurse was out of line for telling me about how young I am and to be patient in the boom boom room and not to worry about having no babies and it only took her about seven years so I should be good let me know below what you think I'm very interested in your opinion all right this is the official end of the video now